Hey guys, Impuredath is back. I'm going to do another um, button tutorial. Um, I'm planning to do shorter tutorials now, so it's more specific, so it's not going to be too long. So I'm going to make a despawn button because a lot of people were confused because they thought I was going to make a despawn button before. But I'll make a despawn button now. So this is where I'm going to place the button. I do this so I can put the button there. I will make it a rectangle ground. can be any ground you want really. But the thing is though, you have to make the friction of this ground, the button, you have to make that um, zero. It's really important. If you don't do that, it's not going to work. Also the mass may be anything you want and yeah, it's fine. But the rest is fine. Now also you get another rectangle ground and um, you make this also zero mass, fix rotated, don't forget that. And now we need to change something to both of these grounds. We have to make a linear damping uh, maximum with both grounds. And the smaller ground you have to give the friction 666 because we need to edit it later. We can't use infinite friction, we need to use negative friction in this case. Um, yeah, let me copy this and paste it. Uh, now you see here is the 666 again. Um, we will just add a negative to it, so minus. So now it's minus 666. So you have a negative ground. Um, with the other friction, this ground would now disappear if it touched it. I can show that by making it um, uh, it friction 5 or something. Now if it goes down, it should disappear. Yeah, you see it disappears. So what happens is, if this thing is <coughs> Sorry, my voice. If this ground is zero friction, it will not be affected by the the negative friction ground, which is beneath it. So this doesn't affect. So this ground can push this one down. This means that um, the button you use doesn't affect or doesn't get despawned in the corner, which is a thing I like to do because I dislike it when there's things in the map that de despawn. Um, and then you have the big thing in the corner and that looks really bad. So now let's add the thing we want to despawn. Now let's place a wood ground here. It can be anything else. Now it doesn't matter. I'll make it really heavy and fix rotate it and I'm going to make a really long plank here and change it 90 degrees, make it dynamic as well, fix rotate it, make it a bit longer so it can touch, so it reaches that. So um, let me actually use uh, colored ground for this because that might look a bit better if I finish it off. So um, now let's make it a bit longer. Oh, that's really long. Seven. Yeah, let's let, let's just go with this. Um, and if it's it has to be 90 degrees. So can see here the rotation is 90 degrees. If I do zero, it's here. So I can use right glitch. Now I'll connect it here with a green anchor. And I'll rotate it again. You can see um, there's only this between the button and the ground. So this is connected. If correct, that should be connected. Oh, I forgot to make it a dynamic ground. Okay, so you have to not forget to make the dynamic ground. Okay, now you can see it's connected. And what happens if I push this, if I push this, it turns into the corner. So you can despawn it. It's a really simple trick. Um, yeah, that's basically the whole trick. The other things you can do is change the color of this and change the color of that to the background color and put like grass on top of this and place this down. Yeah and remove the collision with grounds here otherwise it will not work so now you have the not, you have the button under the ground and it works nicely and it only uses about let's see one two three four five grounds including the despawned ground so yeah that's the first step of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something thank you for watching